Hi everyone. Today we have an interesting experiment and it's a original uh, tinsel coil self-tuning uh, circuit and uh, that's the antenna there and a uh, Tesla coil there with a uh, top capacitance and we have a secondary Tesla coil with the uh, same top capacitance and we have loads here that I have uh, different connection points uh, different taps if you want uh, and we're going to be doing some power power measurements which haven't been done uh, yet and uh, I believe I've come up with a way to uh, do some uh, accurate power measurements here we have a bulb that is <coughs> attached to the grid and I have a uh, good quality uh, kilowatt meter here and if I plug in that bulb we see that that bulb uh, dissipates uh, 6 watts and these uh, bulbs here are all the uh, identical bulb set. They, they call them 7 watt uh, night light bulbs uh, but they all vary but what I've done in this chain here is I, I had a whole bunch of packages of these and selected hand selected them so they all actually are accurately at uh, 6 watts consumption so uh, that'll just be a reference here to uh, see an um, AC a 6 watt uh, light uh, dissipation and then we can tune the circuit uh, by tuning the circuit I mean that we uh, can actually I have this uh, board here that I can slide <coughs> in and out I've got this uh, coil here fixed and what I'll do is just slide this in and out and we can see the difference in results and on the uh, top uh, right corner here I'll be displaying another picture with the uh, power measurements and you can see the effects of uh, moving this which is very interesting to see uh, that'll come uh, now this is a knife switch here to engage the uh, Tesla uh, the uh, TK coil and uh, this other side here I have a precision uh, 10 ohm uh, resistor there that's a 1% uh, precision 10 ohm resistor and with that uh, I'm just going to do a reality check switch it over there and because I have here a buffer capacitor 100 microfarads on 100 volts and I have here my uh, pi filter meters here which is basically meters uh, in between two uh, capacitors one is measuring the voltage and the other one is uh, on the uh, exit capacitor here and the other meter is measuring the voltage across this 1 ohm resistor which comes out to current so this is the voltage at the input batteries and this is which is, will be the voltage on the output and so it'll be voltage times current and this is like uh, it'll be uh, like in the range of 2 amps point something uh, milliamps so you see the uh, dot here <coughs> and here we have the input batteries 12 two 12 volt batteries a 12 amp hour batteries in series and uh, like I said you can see the voltage here so the batteries to the uh, T coil uh, is uh, at least six feet in, uh, in uh, away so I purposely done this so that these batteries <clears throat> are now basically like when this is device is on like everything in the room became, becomes a receptor you know anything metal of the uh, RF so I'm trying to have the batteries as far, far away as possible this is the whole uh, thing that I'm doing here so that's why those meters are far far away as well and then this capacitor here is just trying to filter out everything as possible you know so it doesn't go back this way here uh, in noise noise wise <coughs> and uh, there you go so that's the whole uh, circuit there I'll leave that bulb on all the time and as you see it's always uh, very stable there at exactly uh, 6 watts alright so I have a ground here that I will connect at different points right now we'll just start it at the uh, first connection point and um, I have another camera here that's going to take a, a video of these uh, meters here okay so now I've started the uh, second camera so now you should be seeing a picture of those meters in the uh, corner upper right corner 
And uh, I've also double checked uh, these meters while it's operating with this uh, high quality fluke meter and I'm getting the exact same voltages as far as voltage and uh, voltage current. So that I know is uh, giving me a good readout and let's just do a reality check here before we start. I'm now engaging the uh, 10 ohm resistor here and if we look at the uh, meters obviously you're seeing them as well on the upper right corner you could see that we're at 22.2 um, uh, uh, volts at 22.1 right now at uh, 2 amps 0.18 so that is, is, is exactly 48 watts of uh, power dissipated all right so uh, and if you calculate the uh, voltage uh, across that resistor if you want to check it the other way uh, at 22.1 uh, volts on a 10 ohm 1 percent precision resistor is also exactly 48 watts so we know that this is working as far as like a DC level but on the AC uh, I'm quite sure it's very accurate as well because it's going to give you the same similar results I've chosen that uh, resistor so that it's very very close to uh, being what the circuit is also consuming so for now I'm actually going to disconnect this secondary coil that's why I've got it glued down because I can connect it and disconnect it and we're just going to start the circuit here uh, with it being uh, far away here from the uh, you know just standing there we're just going to calculate how much power it uh, consumes so the circuit is now on you can hear the fan and you can see that uh, top uh, neon light is lit <coughs> and nothing is happening here we're disconnected and if we go look at our meters uh, which you can see uh, you can see the consumption so again at 22.2 volts we're consuming um, 2.08 uh, uh, amps just it working there doing that so now uh, what I'm going to do is just shut it off for a sec and now uh, I'm going to connect our secondary uh, coil here so we look at uh, one bulb uh, lit and we'll try to get it to the same intensity here as the uh, this bulb here all right so let's start the circuit and now you see that that bulb is uh, dimly lit and now if I adjust by bringing this in here in and out I can actually get the bulb to be about the same amount of light and right there they are pretty well uh, bang on close here I'm just making a slight slight adjustment okay so there the intensities uh, are about identical to each bulb and that's the distance that we have there and obviously you're getting the uh, power uh, consumption there all right so about um, uh, one point point uh, one eight uh, milliamps so 180 milliamps there of power consumption so we'll stop it here and we'll just move on to uh, using two uh, bulbs in series now we have the two bulbs in series and I have to bring it in just slightly so that we've got about the same intensity of light between the two bulbs so uh, there they are same intensity on the uh, two bulbs than the first so now we're actually dissipating supposedly about 12 watts of uh, light power there and you are obviously seeing the results uh, from the meters there so now we're consuming somewhere uh, in the range of uh, well not much difference so so you know under 200 milliamps of uh, power consumption there all right so now I'll just uh, won't even need to shut it off I'll move on to three uh, bulbs in series so now I just have to uh, bring this in again a bit more and get our bulbs at about the right same intensity okay so now we got that uh, three bulbs so that would be about 15 uh, watts of uh, dissipated light there and uh, let's obviously you see what the results is so our power is going up up as 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 that's happening as I'm approaching here but there's something also interesting that seems to uh, to happen and uh, what I'll do now is I'll just show you if I keep moving this in I'll show you the bulbs at the same time 
you're going to see at one point that the uh, consumption of power starts going down. So look at that. So there. So now we're actually uh, using less power than we originally started with the circuit just operating idling on its own. And the intensity of the bulbs are uh, as good as our first uh, power uh, or our lit one from the uh, grid there. <coughs> and there, there you can see them. So now we actually are dissipating, uh, what's this, 12 and 6, 18 watts and we're back a lower than what the whole device utilizes just idling. So just to show you that this is real, all I'm going to do is not change anything. I'm just going to switch this off. So I turn the circuit off and now I'm just going to disconnect the uh, secondary out here. And now I'm going to switch the circuit back on. So the circuit is back on and look at the uh, power consumption. So I mean, there it is. We're not doing anything. Shut it off connect this back, turn it back on, and there you go, the power goes down. So now I'll just take this load off for a sec. You can see that the power goes up. Now the lights are somewhat dimly lit, okay, but not doing as well as when the ground is connected. They start out, you know, going dimmer and dimmer. And now I'm actually connecting four lights in a series there. And you can see that here I'll move this in closer. So now we're actually getting closer and it uses less power. So there's like a, 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 ni a nice tuning point. So here I am backing it out, okay? And it's using the power. But yet when you bring it in, there's a point where it goes up, okay? And then it starts going the other way around as you get closer and closer. And as you see there, it went, it went down quite a bit. And then, if you keep going in more, then it comes back up. It starts going up. So it's interesting. There is an ideal kind of location. So I'm here backing it out here. You know, there's an ideal, it's like a focusing point that there's a best transfer of energy. So depending as well on the amount of uh, loads that you do have in there. So basically what I'll do now is just bring it out so that we're back at the, I'll just adjust it so we're about the same. Okay, so look at the intensity here. We got actually uh, 24 watts worth here of uh, light. We're about the same as our uh, input bulb here. Maybe slightly dimmer, but not, not very much. But the interesting thing is, is our power hasn't changed. I'll just shut it off and I'll disconnect this. I don't want to disconnect that while it's powered because I get a large, a long plasma arc. So there it is turning back on. So that's the circuit just operating uh, on its own power. Okay. And now, so that's its consumption. And now we add 24 watts of light and there you go really hardly any difference so there's a lot about tuning in this and uh, that's kind of interesting so I thought this would be a first start with uh, some experiments and there will be uh, more to come as uh, I keep uh, testing this so uh, here I'll give you a full uh, five bulb lit here and we'll just retune here to get our power consumption see if I get close I can get really down quite a bit see there but it's not as brightly lit so I think right there right there we're back at the same if, if the circuit is just idling uh, on its own and doing nothing so now it's outputting uh, five bulbs, but they're not quite as bright as the uh, grid bulb. Uh, but even if you call this five watts, we've got uh, 10, to, well, we've got 25 watts uh, worth right here. Anyways, that's a rough estimate, but we'll get more uh, accurate as uh, time goes and uh, maybe do a, um, a light meter uh, test as well.
to uh, find a lumen uh, level. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye now.